Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermist Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermist Fishing Tips. You know, one of the questions I get asked quite a bit is when should I use a snap, when should I use a snap swivel, and when should I tie direct? So today what I'd like to do is just go over those three areas with you and share some tips in that regard. So as far as tying direct goes, anytime I'm tying a jig, a jig, a bucktail jig, a regular jig, or if I'm using live bait, any direct ties, um, I always tie direct. No need for a, a snap or a snap swivel here. In fact, the less hardware, uh, the better when it comes to tying jigs. It's more of a natural presentation. And um, that'll work perfectly and it also allows for a nice direct hook set. So always uh, tie direct when you're going to jigs, whether it's bucktail or otherwise. Um, as far as using snaps, when I use a snap, if you're running a spoon, here's a, a python darter for example, but any spoons, viper spoons, regular casting spoons, um, I always use just a regular snap. And what, you, what the determining factor there is, the python darter for example, it just wobbles as does the viper spoon. And most spoons wobble. Uh, if the spoon just wobbles, all you need is a snap. And that snap, what it will do is allow the spoon, it'll maximize the action of your spoon and if you use the snap swivel there, you don't need the swivel because nothing's spinning. And besides, that swivel will actually absorb some of the action. So, uh, and you definitely don't want to tie direct to a spoon. If you tie direct, it's choking the spoon off here. And believe it or not, this snap will actually allow that spoon to work a lot more freer. And when you're looking at snaps, look for one that has a bit of a nice round on the bottom. If it has more of a point, that also restricts the action. So you want to have as much, maximize the action as much as possible, and that single snap will do a, a great job at that. In fact, if I'm running crankbaits, same thing with a crankbait. A crankbait, it doesn't spin, it's just wobbling along. So again, I'm just going to run a single snap on a crankbait and uh, let it uh, maximize its action. And again, you do not tie direct, use a snap. And besides everything else, it's easier to change up baits with just a single snap. So when do you use a snap swivel? Well, I use a snap swivel anytime you're running a lure that is spinning or a spoon that is spinning. Anything that is spinning or is going to spin on the end of your line, that's when you want to run a snap swivel combination. That would be the perfect time to run a snap swivel uh, under those conditions. Now, on a jigging spoon, what I would do there also, I would go with a single snap on a jigging spoon um, because the spoon is also going to wobble its way down. But sometimes if you're concerned about line twist, if it's, if it's wobbling and it might be twisting on the way down, then what I would do is I would run just a single snap to the spoon, which will allow it to maximize its action. Then about a foot above my line, I'd tie in uh, a, just a, a swivel, just a, a regular inline swivel about a foot ahead and what that swivel will do, it'll, it'll absorb any line twist and by having just a snap on the bottom it'll allow my spoon to maximize its action and uh, hopefully put me on to more fish. And one last thing, when it comes to three-way swivels, uh, I know you've heard me talk about the T-turns and they're ideal because they come in three different sizes and they allow for absolutely a tangle-free connection for any type of bottom bouncing, trolling, drifting, casting, anytime you need a three-way connection uh, the T-turn comes in three sizes and fits the bill real nicely and because it's a three-way swivel, it swivels in all directions allowing no line twist either. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tips folks. It'll definitely put you on the more fish, help you maximize the action of your lures and if you haven't yet feel free to subscribe to our channel. We love new subscribers and we welcome you aboard. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode and as always folks until next time good luck and good fishing.